Hi, I'm Daisy Burke. I'm Kornay Tia. I'm Aidan Aku. We are the first year BMC students and we will be explaining to you how to use hands in safety. We will be showing you how to correctly wear your PPE, which is your personal protection equipment. I'll be showing you the helmet. So, put your helmet on your head, make sure it's to the front and not to the back. You can put the chin strap on and make sure it's closed. And then you can also tighten it so it does not move. You can also tighten it on the side so it's completely stable and it will protect your head from falling objects and if you trip and Okay, the second part of PPE is your goggles. Your goggles is there to protect your eyes from any dust particles that may fall or sparks or any objects that may or can fall into your eyes. Um, okay, I'll be explaining the next part of our PPE and that is gloves. Um, gloves will protect your, your hand from cold heat, damage, friction, celebration, chemicals and any other things that may harm your hands. Um, it also provides you comfort. The last part of the PPE is the, is the boot. Make sure that it is still the toes because you will be working with heavy poop and it can fall on your feet. But you will also have to have um, ankle support to prevent injury. I'll be talking about the tool the measuring tape, also known as the tape measure. It is a flexible form of ruler. It consists of a metal, of metal strip with linear measurement markings, such as millimeters, centimeters, inches, and meters. It is a common measuring tool. Its design allows for a measure of great lengths to be easily carried in the pocket or toolkit and permits one to measure around curves or corners. It is obviously used to measure certain objects for accurate measurement. It can be locked off, such as this, to keep a measurement if you can't remember it. It comes in different sizes, such as this one is a 10 meter one, and this one is a 3 meter one. Two use tape measures in lengths of over 100 meters, which is freaking long, I must add. Okay. Also, it also has a handy clip that can lock onto your box, so in case you don't use it. And I'll the full power demo. The full power demo is a kind of paper with a relatively large head. It is used for machinery to apply a force without damaging the surface area it strikes. It is usually made of a softer steel than that which it strikes. This forms the anchor. There the dead steel object is heated. It is very simple to use and works in the same principle as a normal hammer. Don't hold the hammer near the head, but hold it near the edge of the uh, handle. And, and make sure that you are using your entire arm when striking. Known as a C clamp because of its distinctive C shaped frame. A C clamp is used by means of turning the screw through the bottom of the frame until the desired pressure or release is reached. Tighten the screw, you will turn it clockwise, and then to untighten the screw, you will turn it anti clockwise. Now I'll be explaining the wire cutters. The wire, this wire cutters can be used to cut normal electrical wires or sheath electrical wires. This can uh, cut big cables because of the long inner sharp blade that's used to cut the sheath wire cables. Uh, this is different to the pliers wire cutter because it's bigger and it can cut bigger wires. Uh, the way to use it is when you open it, you put a wire or any other rope or metal sheet like material in the model and then you cut. And to do this, I'll be cutting this bolt to be as you can see. A functional utility bar. A functional utility bar, also known as a pull bar. The mountain goes with a mission tool, such as with a grabbing jaw, striking head, in a beveled nail slot. It has a texture group for extra comfort and control. This can be used for splitting, prying, board bending, or striking jaws. This makes it ideal for rescue operations as it is a multi tool and can quickly change the purpose in a rescue situation. Okay, I will be doing the back saw. A back
back show is any type of hand show which has a stiffening grip on the opposite edge of the cutting edge, allowing for better control and more precise cutting than with any other type of saw. A back saw on your back saws are normally used in wood working for precise work. Before you start sewing, draw a couple. Measure and draw a marking where you want the cut to be. When you make the first cut, use your thumb or the knuckle of your thumb on the hand holding the wood as a guide to ensure you cut along the cut line. Hold your elbow close to your body when you cut. After you start with the group, a few forward strokes with the deep will deepen the cut so you can move your left hand away from the blade. Push the saw with an easy free flowing motion. I'll be talking about the shovel. The shovel has a very distinctive scoop-like structure, used to dig holes for scoop sand and gravel. It has a long neck and a handle for better technique, such as... Um, it is made of steel and comes in different sizes and shapes depending on the, mate uh, the material needed to be dug up. The shovel is more commonly used in construction sites and on hard-working environments. For as the spade is made out of aluminium and is light and small and is used for recreational use such as gardening. They both have the same structure but this one has not a scoop and it is more indentation. The wooden axe consists of a long wooden handle in this case long, with a wedge shaped steel head uh, with a sharp edge at the front which is used to break down doors or chop trees, split or cut. Um, in the rest environment, it's used to remove any trees from your pot or the branches that's in your way. The way you use it is by using your two hands. You don't put your hand on top, you don't put your hand on the bottom. And to be safe, just make sure that your surroundings are clear and that you don't hurt anyone else around you.